Now on WRDE Coast TV. Crops Now, office building to come. What plans are in place for new construction on Kings Highway? A dreary evening here along the coast as spotty showers continue to move through. I'll let you know when this messy weather will exit Delmarva coming up in just a few moments. Possible locations for the Milford Pallet Village, what the next steps are in this proposal. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 6 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Mallory Metzner. And I'm Britt Leone. Welcome to our News at 6. We're starting tonight with another proposed project off of Kings Highway. The preliminary plans for another office building were recently approved. The new construction will be here on the three acres of farmland across from Cape and Lopen High School. Coast TV News reporter Tori Seagrave shows us what the plans for the building are and how the area is adjusting for its growth. 40,000 square feet of this farmland is set to become an office building. Rich Eagles, who lives across from the Hopkins Preserve, would like to see more farm preservation like that. It's, it's crazy right now. It's just building, building, building. I'd like it not to be new construction. I'd like to keep it as the farmland, you know, so that we have more open spaces. The location of the new building is beside the Cape Penlopen Medical Center. Some people say the new office space could serve the older population of Lewis with more medical offices like its neighbor. I like to see progress, um, but again, it has to be smart. It has to make sense for everybody. But growth near the intersection of Gills Neck Road and Kings Highway is already on the way for this project and others. That is why Delta is planning to accommodate that growth with adding lanes on both sides of Kings Highway that often gets backed up. There's numerous developments that are, are still on the books that haven't even started yet. So this is a, a needed project, one that we know will, uh, will, will serve this community well. Dot says they will have another opportunity to hear from the public on the plans for Kings Highway early next year. Before the Sussex County Planning and Zoning Commission can review any final site plans for the land behind me, the property owners will have to receive agency approvals. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. The Ocean's Calling Music Festival kicked off today in Ocean City. Concert organizers say the music festival is expected to bring in 50,000 people a day. The town says that Ocean's Calling Festival is estimated to bring a $30 million impact for Ocean City. The town says that with the new event happening in the beginning part of the shoulder season, it brings in much needed business for hotels, merchants and restaurants in Ocean City. We've introduced so many people to Ocean City and to all the businesses and, you know, usually that results in them coming back, you know, when they fall in love with our venue as everybody seems to. So this is a great opportunity. It's going to become a signature event. Be ready for changes to the normal traffic pattern in Ocean City. No traffic is allowed south of North Division Street and more restrictions are on our website. The Ocean City Police Department says the OC Beach Bus will be operating on a reduced stop and express service mode this weekend because of the festival. The department says the express service mode ran starting today at 6 a.m. and will run through all day through October 1st, Sunday. Police say people will see the below signage posted at the inactive bus stops. The express service mode has a little over 20 stops each way in hopes that it will help buses flow back and forth a little quicker. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know, are you going to Ocean's Calling? Let's take a look at the updated results from the last news hour. Taking a look at the screen here, the majority earlier were saying yes, that's still the case. That's at 61% right now. 39% say they're not going to Ocean's Calling. If you haven't voted yet, you still can on our website, WRDE.com, or on the Coast TV News app. We'll have updated results on Coast TV News at 11. There are some questions about the campaign records of the current Democrat Lieutenant Governor and Sussex County native Bethany Hall Long. As she is running for the 2024 campaign for governor here in Delaware, it was earlier this month Hall Long announced that she is running for governor to become current Governor John Carney's successor. She has been Delaware's Lieutenant Governor since 2017. Hall Long issued a statement on Thursday saying in part, I requested a review of my past campaign finance reports and learned they, there may have been reporting issues that require attention. Hall Long has been endorsed by Governor Carney in this campaign.
Two cars were involved in a car crash that took place Thursday night in Georgetown. Delaware State Police tell us the accident happened at the intersection of Gravel Hill Road and Prettyman Road. Troopers say for unknown reasons, the Chevrolet Silverado did not stop at the intersection of Gravel Hill Road, where it struck the Toyota Tundra. The one you can see on your screen that's pretty damaged there. Police say both drivers and a passenger in the Tundra were taken to the hospital. Police tell us the driver of the Silverado which issued a ticket for driving with a suspended license, speeding, and failing to remain within a single lane. We are taking a live look outside now into a gloomy Rehoboth Beach. That's our Boardwalk Plaza camera. You can see some people out and about walking on the boardwalk, but they've got their rain jackets tonight. And our first alert meteorologist, Jeanette Gallardo, joins us now with a look at our weather. Good evening, Jeanette. Good evening, Mallory and Britt. We are seeing that dreamy weather slowly starting to move away. Here is a live look into Lewis from our Tidal and Razor camera. We are seeing that onshore wind bringing those waves crash onto shore we are approaching that high tide and so we do have some concerns for some minor coastal flooding as we see those winds blowing from the north onto the shore right now at 10 miles per hour at the Indian River Inlet five miles per hour in Bethany Beach and so that's why we have that coastal flood advisory that is into effect now until 2 p.m. Saturday as we are going to continue to see that high tide cycle tonight and also tomorrow morning that's why we have that in effect along with with a rip current at rip current statement rather until 8 p.m. Saturday, not just for Sussex County, but along the entire coastline. So this is not the best weekend to go down to the beach or head into the water. It will be very dangerous, like we said, because of those rip currents. But we do have better weather on the way. I'll have more details on that in a few more moments. All right, thank you, Jeanette. The town of South Bethany has hired a contractor to maintain the floating wetlands located at the canal ends. The town says crews on the functioning mats will be chopping the plant growth down to a one inch height and composting the waste. Town officials tell us that any mats damaged and can not be repaired will be removed. They say when this process is all finished, South Bethany can expect 17 healthy floating wetlands. The town says the floating wetlands will help beautify canal ends and provide habitat for birds and marine life. A reminder, Sussex County property owners, taxes are due tomorrow. Bills include property, sewer and water, and school district taxes. Sussex County accepts tax payments by cash, check, money order, and debit or credit cards. County officials say bills can be viewed online, but paper copies were mailed throughout August. DelDOT says there will be some lane closures at the intersection of Route 113 and Route 14. DelDOT tells us night work should be expected between this Sunday, October 1st, through Thursday, October 12th. DelDOT says lanes are being closed because of some milling and paving work on the roadway. DelDOT has also announced that Old Landing Road will have a single left turn lane closure and that Route 1 will be reduced from three lanes to two lanes in both directions. DelDOT says the lane closures are for the installation of a manhole. The agency says work will take place Monday, October 2nd through Wednesday, October 4th, and that is weather permitting. Milford City Council talked about some possible locations for a long-discussed pallet village for the homeless. Coast TV's Charles Reinhardt shows us where those locations could be. There are more developments on a potential pallet village here in Milford. At a city council workshop, locations for a possible pallet village were discussed, much like the one in Georgetown. They include behind the new police station under construction, the current police station after the new police station opens, and one off of Milford Harrington Highway. One advocate for the homeless said this is a needed addition to the city. It's just great to think that there is going to be a solution. may not be tomorrow, but is definitely planned for our future. So I would love that the city council and Pallet, uh, the, the Pallet City that's down in uh, run by Springboard is just really trying to make this happen. We just want to reiterate that these are proposed locations at this time. The city told us that there's still a long public hearing process that needs to be had before anything can be finalized. I'm Charles Reiner in Milford, Coast TV News. We are just getting started tonight on Coast TV News at 6. The Alzheimer's Association's walk in Rehoboth Beach will be held this weekend. Find out what day and time you can attend to show your support. 
Great weather is on the way to the coast this weekend. I'll time out when today's rain will exit the region coming up in just a few minutes. But first, upgrading the old Rehoboth Beach Patrol Station. What the mayor has to say about the remodel will be back in 60 seconds. Now at Hardy's, two hand breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose one of five flavors for endless combinations, including new Nashville hot. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Available, affordable, at your service. See what makes Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers your store for new floors. The selection is yeah. incredible. I mean, my floors look amazing. Thousands of styles in the aisles for miles. Get carpets, hardwood, waterproof vinyl, laminate, area rugs, and more. On sale now up to 50% off. Simply pick, pay, take it away, or we'll install it as soon as you say. For free, hurry in to Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Centers before the sale is over. Make dinner good tonight with Hardy's new chicken tender platters. Crunchy, juicy tenders all dipped in buttermilk and hand breaded with a thick slice of garlicky Texas toast, seasoned crinkle fries, slaw, and choice of sauce. Hardy's goodness in the making. The city of Rehoboth is rescheduling a public hearing set for today about the abandonment of parts of Baltimore Avenue for the new Beach Patrol and Comfort Station. Rehoboth Beach Mayor Stan Mills says the, the city will need to take over part of the street for the construction of the new building and a curb. Time for a complete remodel, remake, rebuild of our Beach Patrol and Comfort Stations on the boardwalk at uh, Baltimore Avenue. Uh, it needs to be a much bigger footprint uh, and uh, our only choices are to go up and back, back toward uh, the west. And uh, to do that, we need to push this building into the street, consume some of the street end. Uh, we'll be consuming about uh, 40 to 50, 60 feet of uh, the end of Baltimore Avenue. The city is mapped out on the street where the new station is supposed to lay on Baltimore Avenue. Once the city is in compliance with the state, they'll schedule a new public hearing state. The new Beach Patrol station is expected to be ready for summer of 2025. Due to scheduled maintenance, the Easy Pass phone system and Delaware's Easy Pass website will be down October 1st. According to the DMV, system maintenance will start at 6 p.m. and go through the next day until 2 p.m. Bridge work in Seaford is scheduled for this Sunday, October 1st. DelDOT tells us the work will go through Wednesday, October 4th. The agency says there will be extended lane closures on the bridge on Concord Pond Road. DelDOT says drivers can expect lane closures with crews from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Delmarva has been dealing with a stretch of dreary weather for most of the past week, but better days are ahead. I'll let you know when the sunshine will take back over coming up after the break. From empty nester to first home, Accessible Home Builders does it all. It was great working with Scott at Accessible Builders. He called us every Monday and asked us to come over to the house at each step of the way during the construction of our home. It was pretty unique working with Scott because not only is he the owner, but he was working in here hands-on with his employees and really just trying to make our vision come to life. Design your dream home with Accessible Home Builders. I am so proud to announce the 72 sold was just recognized by the prestigious Inc. 5000 as the number one fastest growing real estate firm in Arizona and in the top five in America. Why? Because our program for selling your home in eight days for thousands more than selling the traditional way really works. If you care about getting more money for your home, go to the number one real estate firm in Arizona at 72sold.com. The Powerball jackpot is always a lot of money. Right now, it's a lot, a lot of money. Powerball is over $900 million. That's a lot, a lot of money. Please play responsibly. Get ready, Delmarva. Truck month has arrived at Preston Ford. You can get 3.9 for 60 months, plus $2,500 bonus cash. Explore our huge inventory of over 100 F-150s in stock and over 50 Super Duties in stock. We've got the truck that's right for you. Every vehicle purchase comes with a Preston for Life engine guarantee. Buying a truck online from PrestonFord.com is hassle-free. Choose your truck from our website and we'll handle the rest. Don't miss out on Truck Month happening right now at Preston Ford. And remember, cars cost less in Preston. 
Download the WRDE News app on your Apple or Android devices. Just search WRDE Coast TV. The WRDE Coast TV News app. Coverage you can count on. Hi, I'm Joel Wharton, Sussex County Farmer. Don't wait until after harvest to plant your cover crops. Consider broadcasting or interseeding cover crops into your standing cash crop. Early establishment provides more growth potential and more soil armor over winter. It also saves time because after harvest, the cover crop is already growing and protecting the soil, cycling nutrients, and preventing erosion. To learn more about the benefits and ways to establish cover crops early, contact the Sussex Conservation District because every acre counts. Late Night with Seth Myers. Late Nights on Coast TV. Those gloomy conditions continue across the coast. Here is a live look into Rehoboth Beach from our Boardwalk Plaza camera, where we are seeing things are starting to dry up a little bit. We aren't seeing as much of that mistiness that we were seeing just an hour ago on our Rehoboth Beach camera. That wind seems to be calm, at least at the Boardwalk. At this time, we are seeing some winds of 12 miles per hour out of the Indian River Inlet, 5 miles per hour in Lewis, 5 miles per hour also in Bethany Beach. I want to point out more so the wind direction. The wind is blowing from the north, so it is still bringing some of that water on shore, causing some concerns for coastal flooding. As far as rainfall amounts, we haven't seen a lot. That's because it has been mostly that very light, misty type of rain. So under a tenth of an inch of rainfall is what we've recorded across Delmarva today, if anything at all. I do want to point out that coastal flood advisory for Sessions County coastline that is in effect tonight through tomorrow Saturday at 2 p.m. as we are going to see with those high tide cycles that risk for some minor tidal flooding especially in the inland ba inland bays. We also do have that rip current statement in effect until 8 p.m. Saturday. That's not just for the Sussex County coastline really for all of the Delmarva coastline again until 8 p.m. Saturday as that wind direction is going to cause those conditions for dangerous rip currents and also those high seas. So it's not the greatest weekend to try to go into the water if you are headed to the beach at all. As far as our current radar and satellite image, we are starting to see that rain, like I said, starting to taper off. And so we are going to see those drier conditions moving in as we head through the rest of the evening and into tomorrow. We are going to stay on the cloudy side overnight, but tomorrow, which by the way, is the short living expo from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center, the weather is going to be looking a lot more fantastic, slowly going to start to see those peaks of sunshine with those temperatures climbing into the low 70s going to be feeling a lot more pleasant and looking a lot more pleasant too although we can't rule out an isolated shower during the afternoon especially along the coast and as we head into Saturday morning we are going to see that clear sky take a look at that those clouds move away we start to see a lot more of that sunshine and in the afternoon that temperature is allowed to warm into the mid 70s inland a little bit closer to 70 degrees along the coast. Now here is a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast. Like I promised, a lot more sunshine as we head into the weekend, especially Sunday onward into next week. Those temperatures also on the warmer side in the mid to upper 70s. It is going to be very seasonable for the first week of October. So go ahead and get outside as we head into the weekend. Thank you, Jeanette. A reminder, you can hear Coast TV news and weather updates throughout the day on our family of radio stations, Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 FM on 93.5 The Beach and on Big 107.7. The mayor and city council want to invite you to a farewell open house for Lewis City Manager Anne-Marie Townsend. The council says the open house is to show appreciation for Anne-Marie's commitment, dedication, and years of service to the city of Lewis. The event will be on October 12th from 1 to 4 p.m. at Lewis City Hall. Road work is happening at Route 1 and 16. Del Dot says Route 1 will begin on Sunday, October 1st, with daytime lane closures from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Monday through Friday. And Route 16 drivers can expect lane closures all seven days of the week from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The agency says these closures will continue through April 30th, 2024. This is because of pavement, embankment, and bridge work on Route 1 South, where the overpass is being built. It's time to take another look at our Coast TV poll. We want to know, are you going to Ocean's Calling? So far, let's take a look. 
It looks like 57% of you say yes and 43% of you say no, I'm not going. So I'm in that no camp. If you haven't voted yet, you can still do so at WRDE.com or on our mobile app. We're going to show you some updated results on Coast TV News at 11. Moving on to sports, Friday night football action in the Henlopen tonight. Delmarva Sports Network's Luke Melly shows us Indian River versus Delmar headlining the action under the lights. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Friday night football is back in the Henlopen. An exciting matchup back in Dagsboro as the Indian River Indians host the Delmar Wildcats. The Wildcats come into the game at 2-2 two two overall and are coming off a 24 to nothing loss to Wilmington Friends. The Wildcats are going to rely on their backs like Khalid Schoolfield and Isaiah Holbrook to carry the load on the ground. They also need to force turnovers in this game. In their wins, the Wildcats have a bunch of takeaways, but in their losses, they don't have many. Overall, if Delmar can set the pace of the game with long, sustained drives, Coach Hearn's guys have a chance to pull off the road upset. Indian River comes in undefeated, and they're coming off a strong performance last week over Polytech. There were plenty of positives Coach Philip Townsend can take from that game. They forced four turnovers, including returning two interceptions for touchdowns, both of them coming from defensive back Darnell Stokes. They've also established a strong ground attack. Their rushing game is led by one-two punch Javion Chandler as the power back with nearly 400 rushing yards, and Devon Handy, the change of pace guy, with over 200 yards himself. In last season's matchup, Del Mar won the game 27 to 25. Tune in to the final score tonight at 11 p.m. for highlights from Dagsboro. That'll do it for sports. Speaking of sports, you can join us here on Coast TV News on Coast TV to watch Sunday Night Football. This Sunday, it's the Kansas City Chiefs versus the New York Jets. Coverage is going to start at 7 p.m. and then right after the game, we have your hyper local Coast TV News to get you ready for the work week. At Draper Media, we're inviting you to celebrate health, wealth, and home at the Shore Living Expo. That's tomorrow. Watch live demonstrations and shop local vendors from crafts to home and from boats to cars to RVs. It's an event you won't want to miss. Admission is free at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center from 10 to 4. The holiday season is going to be here before we know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. Now, through generous donations from businesses and people just like you, we do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning. We do that by supporting nonprofits that handpick families in need, groups like the Boys and Girls Club. Applications for nonprofits like that are now open. They're due on October 31st. We'll be right back after this short break. Foscov's VIP days are back and better than ever. Our biggest home sale of this season. 25% off entire stock of Keurig K-Cups, only $16.49 a box. Our lowest price of the season on kitchen essentials. Placemats, towels, and more, 40% off. Warm and cozy seven-piece comforter sets by Ashley Cooper. Eight styles, any size, $39.99. And men's Spider-Tech fleece pullover hoods, quarter zips, and pants, $19.99. During VIP days at all Boscov's. NBC Nightly News, weeknights at 6.30 on Coast TV. Certified five-star select shingle master sounds confusing. Does it actually matter, Bill? It does. Our training and roofing qualifies all exteriors to give the best warranties. 50-year material and 25-year workmanship. Is that prorated? Nope. It's 100% covered and included in our quote. Call all exteriors. They have same-day appointments available to do a thorough roof inspection and give you a quote on the spot. Plus, get Leaf Relief Gutter Guards free or $1,000 off. Call All Exteriors for your free quote today. Rural communities are on the front lines of a changing climate. Farmers can implement climate smart practices that improve soil health, nutrient management, and energy efficiency. These practices improve our profitability, resiliency, and help to open new markets. We know voluntary conservation works and are committed to working with farmers and forest landowners to leverage resources to increase climate resiliency through conservation practices. To learn more about Climate Smart Practices, scan this QR code to find your local USDA service center. Three, five, the beach. Cap 
off the season with the four best days of fall at Sunfest. Experience the ultimate celebration of food, drinks, arts, crafts, and entertainment along the boards from October 19th to the 22nd. Embrace fall with a variety of fun activities, including beach bonfires, corn maze, tractor rides, and pet and bicycle events. Shop around over 200 arts and crafts vendors. Immerse yourself in music with an incredible lineup of free musical performances. Enjoy free family fun all day. Visit Oceocean.com slash Sunfest for more. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. Alzheimer's Association's Walk in Rehoboth Beach is being held this Saturday tomorrow after Tropical Storm Ophelia postponed their walk that was last weekend. I'm honored to be emceeing the Promise Garden Ceremony for the fifth year. It starts at 10 a.m. at the bandstand. Then walkers will carry colorful flowers signifying their reason for fighting to end the disease. A night of fashion for charity is coming to Rehoboth Beach in just a few weeks. Shellville is set to host a girls' night out event to benefit the Harry Kay Foundation, which works to fight childhood hunger throughout Delaware. It's happening on Thursday, October 9th. A fashion show will be held at the event, and Mallory and I, along with Coast TV Life's Leah Rizzo, will be walking in the show. Tickets must be purchased in advance. Doors open at 6.30 p.m., and the event ends at 9 p.m. Coming up on Coast TV News at 11 in Cambridge, a new teen curfew ordinance passed by City Council. What times teens aren't allowed to be in public places in the city and when the ordinance goes into effect. That story and more on Coast TV News at 11. We've been seeing quite a bit of that rain, really a lot of mist this evening along the coast. But I want to show you our radar image, which does show that we are starting to see that rain, that mist, whatever you want to call it, start to diminish. We are going to see those conditions dry up overnight, although I do think we are going to see some areas of patchy fog. Now here is a look at your Paul Davis restoration and home remodeling 10 day forecast. Tomorrow you'll notice I don't have any rain in the forecast. Can't a lot of spotty shower, especially along the coast, but really we're going to stay dry tomorrow. That cloudiness moving away, especially into Sunday. We are going to be seeing plenty of sunshine and that is going to be here to stay into next week. Those temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 70s as we head into next week as well. Although you'll notice some of those showers, they are going to be making a return by next Saturday. Thank you, Jeanette. That's warm enough to still go to the beach this time of year. <laughs> Thanks for joining us here on Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. We'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a wonderful evening.